want to do a little bit of winter camping, but you're not quite ready to invest in a wood burning stove and a specialty tent, a high end tent with a stove jack. For those of you who don't know what a stove jack is, it's basically a hole that you run the stove pipe through that's got flashing around it that is uh, heat proof, fireproof. Uh, it, it's, it's a bigger commitment than you want. You just want to be able to go out every couple of months, whether or not it's good weather or cold weather, and stay warm and toasty and comfortable throughout the entire night. So I've been out here, you know, like experimenting with different camping gear, testing, reviewing the stuff. And about a week and a half ago, you can go back and, and watch the video. I had a night where it got down to 14 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, that was, for those of you on Celsius, it's, I think it was like negative 10 degrees. It got really uncomfortably cold. And even if you have a great sleeping bag, unless you like, you know, those mummy bags where you're wrapped up and you gotta breathe through a space like this, which I don't personally find very comfortable, uh, you're probably looking at some kind of heater solution. And I think a lot, of you, a lot of you are probably familiar with the Mr. Heater Buddy, the portable Mr. Heater Buddy, which is a great solution, but, but, those little green one pound propane canisters only last about four hours, which means you are not getting a good night sleep. You're having to get up and change canisters. God forbid you run out of a canister and then spend the rest of the night freezing. So I've got a better solution. Solution. <laughs> Check this out. So what I've got here is a 25 pound, I think it's 25 pound uh, propane tank and a hose, Mr. Buddy, Mr. Heater Buddy branded hose, and this goes in to the tent and runs right through to the Mr. Heater Buddy, the portable Mr. Heater Buddy. Let me take you inside here. I'm gonna show you my, my setup here. I've got the Teton XXL cot, which I'm still testing. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a separate uh, review on the cot, as well as this sleeping bag with the Booster Comforter. This is the uh, this is the canvas Kodiak sleeping bag, and I'll let you in on a little secret. It is friggin' awesome. This thing your head goes through here. Separate video on that. Anyways, back to back to the Mr. Heater Buddy. You see right here where you would normally plug in the little one-pound canister. This just goes out here, and the way I do this is. You just zip this down at night and it closes it off nice and snug just like that not super snug and then typically what I'll do is I'll come over here to this window and I'll open this up a little bit depending on how hot it is or cold it is rather outside and how hot it is inside the tent because it can get this thing can get pretty toasty now those of you who are concerned, this is a catalytic heater. It is designed for indoor use and it has a built-in carbon dioxide, is it carbon dioxide or carbon, carbon monoxide? I think it's carbon dioxide uh, detector that will automatically shut it off um, or if it tips over, it'll shut off as well. In addition to that, I've also got one of these right here just to be extra safe. Now. I doubt that this thing, this tent is actually airtight. This is a Gazelle T4 tent, which I really like so far. And just to be extra safe, I do keep this a little bit open at night. Um, and still, still it gets warm. Now why, I've got a zero degree bag with a 30 degree booster quilt. So if this thing keeps me so warm, why do you need the heavy duty bag? Well, it's just a matter of Sorry, I flipped it around here. It's just a matter of redundancy. I feel like I'm living underneath an airport. Just a matter of redundancy. Just in case for some reason you do run out of propane or for whatever reason the the um, Mr. Heater Buddy stops working for, you know, who knows why. It's really nice to have a really solid sleeping bag that you can count on, that you can fall back on. Now, getting back to the Mr. Heater Buddy, the hose that you want to get, this hose here is the 10 foot hose. And thanks to the guys in the tent camping group on Facebook, I didn't know this. I had originally gone out and just grabbed a 12 foot branded Mr. Heater Buddy hose. And apparently all of the hoses besides the 10 foot hose 
have a tendency to leak particulate uh, down the hose as the propane is going down the hose into the heater and it can cause or does cause early failure of your heater. So to prevent that, make sure you get the 10 foot branded Mr. Buddy uh, heater hose. And I'll leave a link uh, either in the description or on our website, hardcorecampinggear.com, so you make sure that you order the right one. You can get these. I actually had to drive around quite a bit. Um, uh, Sportsman's Warehouse had the hoses, but they didn't have the 10 foot one. I then went to uh, Tractor Supply, as you can see on the hat, and uh, Tractor Supply did not have the right one either. Ended up at Big R. They opened up a, a new store here in Northern Nevada, a Big R. Uh, it's like, it's like a tractor and feed store. And they had several of them. So you might have to look around if you don't buy it online, but I think it's worth getting. This setup, I've been testing this now for the last three nights. I'm gonna sleep in, it, sleep in the tent again tonight because it's gonna get down to 28 degrees. This setup works really, really nice. Here's the kicker though. If you're gonna have temperatures of 30 degrees or above, you don't need to run this all night long. Even though you've got the 25 pound tank, the 25 pound propane tank, you don't, basically, all I do if it's 30 degrees or above, because what happens is it ends up getting just too hot and the sleeping bag itself is perfectly fine for those temperatures. Um, so if it's above 30 or 30 degrees, 30 degrees Fahrenheit, I'll just use this if I gotta get up to uh, use the pee bottle, if you know what I mean. Or when I'm getting ready for bed and taking off my clothes, heats up the tent really quick, turn it off, jump in the bag, and you're good to go. If it's below 30 degrees, I found that it is real nice. I put this on the low setting, runs throughout the entire night, crack the window a little bit, really, really comfortable solution. And it ends up being, you know, pretty, pretty cozy. But for here in Northern Nevada, uh, it's perfect. And the other question I had was, what about condensation? Uh, it hasn't been an issue for me, but again, we are in the high desert, so it's a lot drier here than maybe it would be if you were camping in Florida. That may be an issue for you. Um, if it is, you might want to look into a diesel heater. Um, you can get one of those typically for about 150 to 200 bucks, and that could be a really good solution for helping you dry out your gear. But if you're just a recreational camper and you're not in an area that is a high humidity environment, this setup, this Mr. Heater Buddy setup with the propane tank sitting outside works really, really well. Hey, I'm Adam Katz for the Hardcore Camping Gear channel, the channel where we explore and review the camping gear that you need to be self-contained, self-reliant, and most of all comfortable camping in the outdoors without having to spend tens of thousands of dollars on an expensive RV or travel trailer. Uh, if you like that kind of stuff, if you're into that kind of stuff, if you're just interested in watching more cool camping gears, consider subscribing, like, share, uh, comment, you know the, you know the routine.